Order management is one of the most crucial functions for any e-commerce seller or store owner, which involves creating an order and processing it for successful fulfillment. Order Hive's powerful software facilitates just-in-time order workflow using a Kanban visual approach. So you know exactly what orders need to be confirmed, what orders to be shipped, and what are shipped, and what are completed. Before processing an order, you need to add or create an order in Order Hive. It can be done both manually or by auto-sync function that pulls orders from your integrated selling channels. In this tutorial, let's learn how to add an order manually. To add an order, go to Orders tab and click on New Order button from the bottom menu bar. Here you need to fill in order details for customer name, email address, billing address and contact details. If a customer already exists in database, just type the name initials. And upon selection, these details will get auto-populated which can be edited if needed. Moving ahead, in the right side fields, you need to select or add currency, payment method, order date and warehouse to fulfill the order form. You can even assign the order you are creating to a salesperson. If in case you have already added users in your account, you will see their names in the drop-down. If not, you can add salesperson with corresponding role and access. Here you can also add reference number, store order number and shipping details for quick reference. Once you fulfill all the required details, move on to add product details. Put initial letters of the product name or SKU for the system to fetch product details automatically. Alternatively, you can add the product by barcode scanning, which is an even quicker way to add products. You can either individually scan the products or in bulk. Simply point the focus on the Add Items text box and start scanning the product barcodes through a scanner integrated in your system. Once the product is added, select the pricing tier at which you wish to sell it. From the drop-down which includes Retail Pricing Tier, Wholesale Pricing Tier and any other customized pricing tier that you might have added. These pricing tiers could be added using product setting page. Add the discounts if any. Next, you need to update the quantity of the product sold. Please note that the default quantity is set as 1 which is to be changed if needed. Type the quantity or alternatively you can increase order quantity by scanning the same product multiple times. After adding the quantity, select tax details. Under Tax, there are two options. First, moving on, you can also add custom items in the order. Simply type the name of the custom item and then click on Add Custom Item. Also select from the relevant item category in the drop-down. OrderHive has six default categories that can be assigned to the custom item. Finally, click on Confirm to create an order to be shipped. The order can also be saved as a draft. Once confirmed, you can see the order in To Ship Order List. In Order Hive, apart from fields signifying the important details of a product, you can have customized fields that can help you segregate orders more efficiently. For example, you can consolidate all orders that have been bought during a sale that you organized or orders from a specific kind of customer type. To segregate orders by customer type, you need to create a custom field by the name customer type. To create custom field, go to orders page and click on custom field. This will open a pop-up 
showing you a list of custom fields and we'll have an option to add a custom field. You can now click on add custom field and it will ask you to fill the name and type of the field and two toggle buttons to decide whether you wish to make the field mandatory and whether you wish to add the field to list or Kanban view. Enter the name and select the type of the field. You can create five types of custom field depending upon the kind of value you want to enter in the field. Text, number, drop down, checkbox and date. Select the appropriate field. When you select a drop down or checkbox, it will also ask what are the predefined values that need to be shown to the person creating a new order. If you make the field mandatory, the order would not be registered without entering value for the field you created. If you keep the option to show the field on list Kanban view on, it will make sure that this field is shown for all orders in the main Kanban view that is on orders page. To finish, click on create. This field will now start getting shown in your list of custom fields and if you create a new order, it will also ask you details of the new custom field. That's all about adding an order. If you have any queries on this topic, click on chat icon at the bottom right to chat with our product experts. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on OrderHive. And thanks for watching.